So I think the transformation we've seen, so here's some statistics. At Stanford University, um, the student-faculty ratio is about 20 to 1. Um, at the University of Phoenix, largely really an online university, I think the student-faculty ratio is about 24 to 1, so, so you know, not that dissimilar from, from a traditional older university at Stanford. And the transformation that we saw starting about a year ago was these courses where the student-faculty ratio is not 20 to 1 or 24 to 1, but 100,000 to 1. And when you can do that, the economics changes dramatically when you can provide the technology to enable one professor to teach 100,000 students. Um, and I think that was, it's funny, when, when you look at education, education has been being transformed by technology for a long time because of societal forces like the cost of higher ed, the quality, the lack of access. But I feel like we're in a unique time where looking back, you can actually see when the inflection point was. And it was last year when we started to have these massive open online courses with hundreds of thousands, hundreds of, thousands of students. Um, and, and I think we're in a very unique point in history. Um, and, and thinking about you know, the top universities participating in, in, in these courses too, I think technology is transforming higher ed and none of us really know what the future of it will be like. Uh, but um, I'm glad that there's places like Princeton, Stanford, Michigan, Penn participating in this and leading the way that there's these top universities shaping the conversation of higher education because frankly, if it isn't places like Princeton, Stanford, Penn, Michigan doing this, it may be other institutions without the high academic standards of these institutions, and that would be to the detriment of everyone. There's a little statistic that I was told about recently that talked about the fact that from 2002